For many along the Jersey Shore, it's a hobby. For these Christian Brothers Academy students, sailing is a competitive sport. It's just empowering. You feel connected with the, you know, air and the water. 20 sailors are on the varsity team. It's a dual season. Students sail from September through November, break during the winter, and are back on the water March through June. For high school purposes, it, we, uh, we sail these two-man boats that you see behind me. They're called Club 420s or Collegiate 420s. Um, and they're two-man, um, so we have a skipper who steers the boat, a crew who uh, kind of maintains his weight um, and does the jib sail in the front of the boat. Um, and you know, it's, it's a sport where you got to rely on the wind, obviously. So sometimes it's super windy, sometimes there's no wind. So it's a very condition based sport. We join coach Jason Lutz on his power boat. He prepares his athletes for competitive races throughout the year. We have about 25 schools in our league. It's called the New Jersey Interscholastic Sailing Association. Um, teams like Donovan Catholic, uh, teams like Southern Regional, um, Red Bank Catholic, they all have sailing teams or clubs. We owe a lot of the credit back to the league for putting together a schedule that tests us. The local competition helped prepare these sailors for an even bigger race. This is the first year the CBA varsity sailing team qualified for the high school national championship held at MIT in May. They finished 15th and the coach is so proud because they had to finish in the top three in two prior events to even qualify for the nationals. Many of the teammates now compete on a college level, which is what Chris Magno will be doing this fall. My father got me into sailing when I was uh, really young and I've just loved being on the water. The team practices at the Toms River Yacht Club. They use the Ocean County College fleet of boats. The sailors learn how to use their weight to properly balance the boat in order to maximize its speed through the water. You get upwind uh, by tacking, which is which is turning the sail side to side. Um, and you get upwind and then you go downwind, which is when you go with the wind. Um, and so the course is typically you go upwind to a mark, you round the mark, and then you go downwind to another set of marks. Um, and then you do that a couple times and then you go through a finish line. It's not all about physical strength, says Lutz. You know, the mental component is, is maybe sometimes even more paramount. It's kind of a mind game because the kids have to learn how to read where the wind is on the water. You can see the dark spots on the water. You know, if it's if it's windier, the darker spots are usually the more windy spots on the water. The lighter spots on the water are usually where there's less wind. So the kids have to get pretty good at, at looking ahead to where they're going and seeing where do I want to go next. Many of these sailors also experience a sense of peace on the boat. The water is kind of like a calming thing. It's like distant from the rest of the world. It kind of allows you to um, take refuge from all like the other stressors and factors that are in your normal life, it's kind of allow you to separate yourself from that. I like being out in the water. I mean, it's a really cool sport, uh, sport to be out there. It's a, it's a sport that you can, you can literally do for the rest of your life. Though these athletes are focused on their upcoming races, which start next month. In Tom's River, I'm Lauren Wonko and Jake TV News.